CNN reporter Donnie O'Sullivan showed up to an America First rally with Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates. And at this point, I'm convinced that CNN is trying to give this guy brain damage from too much exposure to MAGA chads because he's constantly at these rallies asking them questions. And you could you could probably sense that by now his soul has been sucked out of him. Nonetheless, he showed up and he spoke with two Donald Trump supporters who believe the big lie about the 2020 election and that Joe Biden stole that election. But more outrageous than the fact that they believe the big lie, perhaps, is the reason why they believe the big lie. And it is uh, quite uh, interesting, the things that you're going to hear them say. Take a look. You guys both genuinely believe the election was stolen. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, you know, if you believe that that's true, that is, is that horrible? Yeah, yeah, I know that it is. is. Horrible. Is it so, horrible that we would even be in the situation to even think that? But it's false. No, it is well, not. Why would they have all those ballots hidden under tables? Why did that man drive that truck all the way across state lines? It wasn't like the, with even ballots. The, ba the ballots under table thing with Giuliani in Georgia. That's all been proven to be false. It no? has not. No. I watched it on TV. Of course, what they mentioned there are conspiracy theories about the election that have been debunked for many, many months. But it goes to show that the message, the big lie about the election, has a very, very receptive audience here in the villages. Take a listen to what happened inside the event. Did anybody in here vote for Joe Biden? No. Do you guys really think he won? And while some might look at an event like this as a fringe element of the Republican Party, it really isn't. Take a look at these poll numbers from last week. It shows 70% of Republicans believe the big lie that Joe Biden didn't really win the election. The Republican Party continues to grapple with conspiracy theories. So the proof that the election was stolen from Donald Trump, quote, I watched it on TV. I watched it on TV. So case closed. Checkmate liberals. Can't argue with that logic. Also, you know, uh, just speaking for myself here, but I've also seen people who can fly on television. I've seen dragons and magical wizards on television. So I guess that that must confirm the existence of people who can fly dragons and magical wizards. Checkmate libtards. I mean, I shouldn't have to explain this to someone who's probably twice my age, but not everything that you see on television is real. I mean, <laughs> things might be presented as if they are real. Reality television show stars, quote unquote news, but that doesn't mean that it's real. And of course, you know, in the event you have Marjorie Taylor Greene still continuing to spread lies about the election, presenting zero evidence that it's been stolen, and any arguments and evidence that they've presented, it's all been debunked. Now, it's funny, uh, Donnie O'Sullivan, flabbergasted by their stupidity, um, he says, you know, um, so you still believe that the election was stolen? And uh, the guy chimed in and said, isn't that horrible? Isn't it horrible that people would even believe such a thing? Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily speak to the severity of the situation. Um, the reason why you believe in evidence-free conspiracy theory is because you're unable to push through the cognitive dissonance that you're feeling. You thought Donald Trump would win. You're angry and refuse to accept that he did not win. Therefore, you're making up all of these conspiracies about how he actually did win. And Joe Biden just stole the election from him. And uh, the lady cited how, well, you know, why would they have all those ballots hidden under the tables? Why did that man drive that truck all the way across state lines? Listen, I'm no expert on things related to election integrity, but I have to say that if I wanted to rig an election, I probably wouldn't hide a bunch of illegal ballots under a fucking table, nor would I want to just brazenly drive a truck presumably filled with millions of illegal ballots across state lines that's pretty brazen i mean wouldn't you you want to be a little bit less conspicuous if you're going to steal an election and all the things that she's referring has been debunked again and again and again so at this point if you still believe the big lie i have to assume 
that you're just not a reasonable person. But don't take it from me. Take it from one of the individuals who was an attorney for Donald Trump who pushed the big lie. I'm, of course, referring to Sidney Powell, whose attorneys argued on her behalf as she faces a defamation lawsuit in court that, quote, no reasonable person would conclude that the statements she made were truly statements of fact. So even the person who spread those lies doesn't think that you're reasonable people, but she still believes the lies. He still believes the lies. I mean, are these the dumbest Trump supporters in America? It's hard to actually pinpoint out of the millions of Trump supporters, which one is actually the worst and who believes the most deranged things. But I mean, like to say, I know something is true because I saw it on TV. She has to understand how silly that sounds, right? I, I mean, when she felt those words leave her lips, did she not think for a second, ooh, that kind of sounded stupid because you see a lot of fake things on TV. I mean, I hope so, right? I hope that she has gone home, she saw herself on TV, acknowledged how stupid she looked, and she's reflecting, and she's trying to be introspective and try to do better. But odds are that isn't what's happening. Odds are... Her friends probably saw her on uh, CNN and she got a bunch of calls about how great it was that she stuck it to that libtard. And, you know, the, the same lie is going to be believed. So at this point, I'm not shocked that there are this many folks who believe the big lie. But I have to say, it still is soul crushing to see people that deluded believe something so stupid with no evidence. It's just honestly, it's demoralizing. But it's important that we call these lies out because when we're talking about democracy, we can't mince words. We have to be very clear. The election was not stolen. But if you truly care about democracy, you can look to all of the states controlled by Republicans. I'm, of course, talking about Ron DeSantis in Florida, Brian Kemp in Georgia, who are actually trying to steal elections, enact voter suppression laws that make it more difficult to vote. See, to them they don't see that voter suppression as election rigging. Things that they like, that's not voter rigging. Things that they don't like, that's fake news or voter rigging. They operate purely on the basis of what their emotions dictate they believe. And that's a really dangerous way to create a political ideology for yourself. It's weird. It's not based on facts. It's based on emotions and that's that's deeply dangerous for democracy if enough people believe it and that is the case so we have to continue to push back against this lie until people stop being stupid and stop believing it the humanist report is fake news mike only cares about crazy bernie and his wacky socialist ideas sad very sad i'm unsubscribing